Pfizer is officially FDA approved. Hello, welcome to Nursing with Professor B. My name is Bridget. I am a family nurse practitioner. And today I'm going to be talking about the fact that Pfizer has been FDA approved for COVID-19. The FDA has granted full approval for the Pfizer vaccine. The name of the vaccine is Comirnaty. Really interesting how this vaccine got its name. Comirnaty represents a combination of the terms COVID-19, mRNA, community, and immunity. It's to highlight the authorization of an mRNA as well as the global effort that it took to make this vaccine. So when people say they rushed this vaccine, they actually have been working on mRNA technology for decades and they have uh, information on other coronaviruses. Coronaviruses are very prevalent. It's just that this one is a more serious strain. So the reason that they were able to get this vaccine out is the top scientists from around the world collaborated. There was a tremendous amount of funding that was put in. There was this sense of urgency and, and they were actually allowed to do uh, the trials as well as manufacture the vaccines. Whereas normally they do the trials then if the trials are successful, then they manufacture the vaccines. The approval applies to people 16 years and older. It's still available for emergency use authorization for those ages 12 through 15. Peter Marks is the director of the FDA Center for Biologics Evaluation and Research. And he said that the agency had not dragged its feet in, uh, in approving this vaccine. And Marks noted that his team had reviewed tens of thousands of pages of clinical trial data down to the level of individual patients. And they also inspected clinical trials, manufacturing facilities, and reviewed information gathered after the vaccines were authorized for use. He said people worked day and night. The agency resisted pressure to speed up its process, saying a thorough review was necessary to ensure public confidence. In order to grant the approval, the agency reviewed data from more than 40,000 clinical trial participants and about 12,000 recipients have been followed for at least six months. The most commonly reported side effect from the vaccine based on the review here was again uh, pain, redness, and swelling at the injection site muscle or joint pain, chills, and fever. An adverse effect that is not very common is that of myocarditis, which is, which is inflammation of the heart, especially within seven days after the second dose of shots. The risk is highest for men under age 40 compared with women and older men. In many people, myocarditis improves without treatment. If you feel like this develops and you need treatment, then of course, seek treatment. A lot of times steroids can be given and other cardiac medication to help you with your symptoms temporarily until the inflammation goes down. So if you have been on the fence about getting this vaccine and you were waiting for FDA approval, now is the time. I have got a lot of um, ugly comments on my Delta signs and symptoms video. I'm not saying that if you take the vaccine, you will 100% not get COVID, right? Most things in life are not 100%. So that being said, if you get the vaccine, the study found that it was 91% against COVID, but this was before the Delta variant. With the Delta variant, the vaccines are about 88% effective, right? So 88% chance that you're not going to get COVID. And then if you don't get COVID, you don't transmit the virus. Now, I got a, a lot of ugly comments again saying, well, you can transmit the virus and be asymptomatic. Correct. If you get a breakthrough infection, which is what they call it, if you get a breakthrough infection, which you can be asymptomatic because, again, you took the vaccine. If you get a breakthrough infection, but 88% chance that you will not, then yes, you can transmit the infection. But you're a lot more likely to transmit COVID if you do not get vaccinated. We all want the world to get back to normal, okay? And the fastest way to do that is if the majority of us get vaccinated. I was just reading a post about a girl, about a senior in high school. Not only are children being hospitalized more because of Delta, because Delta is infecting more people. So if you have more people infected, the likelihood that kids, the more kids are infected, then you're going to have increased hospitalizations, right? Not only is this affecting children, 
physically, but it's affecting them mentally, okay? Children do need to socialize and they do need to be with other children. And the past two years has been very difficult for them being inside of a being inside locked up and not being able to interact with other students that being said the quickest way to prevent pediatric hospitalizations to prevent anxiety depression in children related to i'm not saying anxiety and depression as a blanket statement i'm saying related to this current pandemic children that are sort of struggling with anxiety and depression because they can't socialize and they are nervous about going to school now because they're worried about getting COVID. The best way to move beyond this, to move past this, is just to take a vaccine, right? You now, people are willing to go to war for our country, right? People are willing to go to war for our country, but we're not willing to take a vaccine to stop a virus. The virus is the enemy, right? The virus is that one enemy that we all need to defeat and combat. So I just had a, um, a colleague that I worked with when I worked at a facility for adults with developmental disabilities. I worked with a gentleman and he passed away this past week from COVID. He was actually looking into making an appointment to get his COVID vaccine and then he got COVID and he passed away. He was a young guy, he was healthy, he was not obese. So this matter is very near and dear to my heart. Of course, I'm in the healthcare field. So I'm, I have friends that are in COVID's face day in and day out. So I have no hidden agenda. I just, from a place of pain from losing loved ones and colleagues, and from a place of love is saying, save yourself, save your loved ones, get a vaccine. It's that simple. I will not entertain trolls. I want to give a shout out to Cricket Moon. If you leave me a comment because you are truly seeking to learn, I welcome that. But if you leave me a comment that is hateful, spiteful, um, attacking me, I will not entertain that. So have a great day. Leave a comment below if um, leave a comment below if you want to add anything. Thank you so much for watching.